Wow, what a night. Tell me about it. I am glad Simon finally got his bearings and did the right thing in the end. I hope that guy who escaped has a rat on us. Yeah, the cops are probably going to look for the two of you. That reminds me, Obama, aren't the cops still looking for you for acts of terrorism? Oh, shit, I already forgot about that. That was all just one big misunderstanding. Why do I hear shitty music? Wait, I think I remember this from somewhere. Shit. Well, well, well. If it's not the escaped convict and his two goons, you're coming with us, you scum-sucking pigs? I understood their reference. Donald, try to convince them we're innocent. Why me? You're a businessman. Think of something. Listen, fellas, why don't we work out a deal? This is America. We can always find an alternative. We're listening. Damn, I hope Donald knows what he's doing. Our asses are on the line. Hopefully we can get some more ice cream once they take you away, Obama. I'm starving. A way to have some empathy. I can't spend the rest of my life in prison. I just got my life back together. Is empathy some type of new ice cream flavor? OK, I think we came to an agreement, gentlemen. All right, then. Let's get you three down to the station for your assignment. So you're not arresting us? Just shut up and get in the damn car already. OK, put these on. What the hell are they talking about, Donald? What did you sign us up for? They agreed to let us go free if we can take down the local crime syndicate by the end of the night. Take down an entire crime syndicate in a single night. Who do I look like? Batman? Well, luckily for you, I was best friends with the chief of police back in my college days, so he is providing us with a very long leash. That's right. Badges, guns, cars, helicopters. We even cleared you for SWAT team reinforcements. You three will essentially be sheriffs. However, if you fail, all three of you are going to jail for life. Am I the only sane one in the universe? So what leads do you guys have on this crime syndicate? They are known as the Ghost Legion, and we have very little intelligence on them. All that we know is they are distributing illegal narcotics throughout the county, but we have yet to find a delivery method. We caught one of their dealers, but he's clammed up. He'll never talk. Well, see about that. Officer Blart, can we please stop by Dairy Queen? The first have very important business there. Sure thing, Deputy Biden. Paradise at last. Joey, what the hell do you think you're doing? I'm investigating this new flavor you mentioned. What was it called again? Joey, please take this seriously. Now all our balls are on the line. Well, well, well. It looks like you brought yet another dimwit friend of yours. If it's not my arch nemesis. Um, what the hell is going on? Joey and him got in a big fight last time we were here, which gave me a revelation on how to get our customers back at McDonald's again. Don't you remember? No, not really. Why don't you three make like a banana and split before I call the police? I don't think so, you chunky monkey. You see, we're now official deputies of this county and I am giving you one chance to give me what I ordered from last time. We don't serve coppers, now get out. Come on, Joey, they're not worth it anyway. Let's go to the station so we can start to work on this case. All right, but we're not done here. Now get the fuck out, all of you. Isn't it a little strange how they seem to turn down almost every customer who goes in there? Yeah, back in our McDonald's days, my managers were on my ass when we weren't profitable. So the fact that nothing changed here is very strange. Wow, look at those cars. I had no idea Dairy Queen workers made so much. Well, did you boys figure anything out? Not really. Let's just get to the station already so we can start interrogating this kid. All right, we're here. Let's bust some balls, boys. Joey, you need to cut that gay shit out. Hey, where is the interrogation room? Down the hall to the left. Thanks. Joey, what the hell is that? It's my interrogation tool set. I bought it on Tamu for $6.99. Holy shit, Joe, we're not torturing anybody. All right, simmer down. So what's the strategy? I think good cop, bad cop. OK, but there are three of us. So what's the third role going to be? How about devil's advocate? Hey, that might just work. Good one, Joey. Hey, how is it going today, pal? Can I get you anything to drink or maybe? The only thing he's going to be drinking is my piss going down his throat. What the hell? Hey, it's OK to admit you're into that sort of thing. Nothing to be ashamed of. In fact, it should be celebrated. You guys are weirding me out, man. Hey, listen, all we're trying to do is to help you get out of here. All that has to happen is give any information you know about the Ghost Legion. We are aware that you were one of the dealers, and selling this stuff will land you in the big house for a long time, buddy boy. Come on, guys. It's not his fault he's retarded. He was born that way. Selling drugs is just the only way the little guy knows how to make money. I ain't stupid, mister. I had my reasons. I think a village somewhere is missing their idiot. Oh, come on, guys. Don't provoke him. Why don't you tell us why you decided to work for them? No way, man, they'll. Never mind. I'll rip your tongue out and use it as toilet paper if you don't tell us what we want to know. All right, all right, holy hell, you have mental problems, buddy. They took away my daughter and blackmailed me into dealing for them if I ever wanted to see her again. Now that's the biggest pack of shit I have ever heard. Oh, come on, we all know he ate the brightest crayon in the shed. Of course, he'll come up with a silly lie to protect the fact that he's a damn fool. 
You can't blame a brainless rat for something like this. Come on, guys. Wait, guys, I think he's telling the truth. What is your daughter's name? Emily. Size, height, age? Let me guess, built like a linebacker is four foot seven and is nine years old. Come on, Donnie. It's not his fault his kid looks like a morbidly obese Danny DeVito who dropped out of the fourth grade. You watch your mouth about my daughter. She has brown eyes and is probably around five, six, and she has brown hair. She just graduated from high school and I am worried sick. What was she doing before she was taken? Was she acting strangely? Now that you mention it, yeah, she was acting strange. I guess I think she was looking for a job for college. Okay, well, it's not much, but I would say we have enough of a lead to follow. So, are we done here? I say when we're done here. Okay, I'm bored, we're done here. What did you boys find out? Not too much, but we would like to follow up on a lead. Do you have the address to his house? I'll write it down for you. Also, please only use this number to call the station. It's very important whenever getting in contact with the station you use this number. Hey, why is everyone in uniform except you? I am an intern and haven't been provided a uniform yet. Why the hell are you so worried about what she is wearing, Donald? We're on a case. Wow, she left a clump of her hair awesome. You two are real sickos, you know that. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, great. Let's get one of the squad cars and look for clues at his house. Sounds good. I actually have never been in the front seat in one of these things. Me neither. Why do I have to sit in the back? Because I called shotgun. Yeah, well, you ain't black if you sit in the front. Shut up, you guys. Don't you see that illegal? He's just standing there menacingly. He's just some random Mexican guy, Donnie. Who cares? Wait a damn minute. This Mexican reeks of peppers. Yeah, I remember that stench from somewhere. Is it you, Juan? Ah, uh, Diablos, no. It is you, it is you. I thought we would never see you again, friend. Ustedes three bastardos me despidieron. Juan, guess what? We're cops now. Can you believe it? Ustedes, los amantes de las donas, lo lamentaran. Yeah, it's been great catching up with you, Juan. You have to be my favorite Mexican by far. For sure, you are always there when we need you most. You're one of our best friends and always will be. Ustedes tres cerdos se quemarán hasta convertirse en tocino cuando termine con ustedes. Okay, Juan, we would hang with you, but we kind of have a really important classified case right now, so we should probably get back to it. Bye, Juan. Ustedes tres pagaron por lo que me hicieron. I guess the middle finger in Mexico is a great sign of respect and love. I never knew that. Yeah, that's kind of cool. We should embrace that part of his culture next time we see him. Totally, he's going to be so happy. Boys, we are here. Finally, my balls were all stuck to my pants and I could not unstick them. TMI, Joey, holy hell. Yeah, holy hell, Joe, keep some shit to yourself every once in a while. Fine, you guys never want to hear it anyway. Damn, this door is locked. Yeah, it's tighter than your mama. No way we're getting in the front door. Always with the jokes, ha, huh, Donald? Not like all of our asses are on the line. To be fair, Donald has a lot more ass to lose Obama. Shut up, Joey, and help me smash the window. That would be breaking and entering. There has to be a better way. What about the back door? That's so stupid, it might just work. You know, all of this kind of reminds me of some live broadcast I used to watch. What broadcast? Um, I forget the specifics, but it's about some guy who yells at his son who thinks he is a brain reader or something, and he always gives cops and detectives and stuff good advice. Why the hell does that remind you of whatever we're doing? I forget. If that's not the story of your life, Joey? I remember he liked to eat pineapples or no, maybe his kid likes pineapples. Oh yeah, and they drove a blueberry. We need to bring you to an old folks home already. Yeah, well, it's all real and I think that guy lives nearby somewhere. Okay, well, just in case, what's his name? Henry Spencer. All right, well, he's all over Google. It looks like his story is legit Donald and he seems to go by an alias. I added his address in case we need him. Yeah, well, let's just finish up here first. Okay, so the first piece of evidence they always look for is in the fridge. And you call me a fat ass. Food leads to the soul, Donnie, don't you forget. Okay, what do we got here? Oh shit, look, they got Sunny D's. I thought these were extinct. Hell yeah, Donnie, let's rob these bastards blind. Guys, we are looking for evidence. We are not thieves. Speak for yourself, they got potato salad. Joey, I was with you until you said that. Yeah, Joey, that's sick. Yeah, well more for me. Look, there's an unmarked container filled with ice cream. Damn it, Donald, we're not having a feast. We're looking for evidence. Hold up, this might be important. Give it here. It has a light glare and I see crystallization happening towards the first quadrant left of the inner bowl. I would have to use a T-test using alpha 0.8 millimeters to circulate the circumference. Interesting. This was in an industrial freezer, I would say around one week ago. Wait a minute. Hold on, there's another component of this ice cream. What is this? Um, 
Joey, why is your nose all powdery? Is that a Ziploc bag at the bottom? Guys, I don't feel so good. I should lie down with you. Um, I guess someone was storing some illegal narcotics in an ice cream container. We should get these analyzed to see if there's a connection with the case we are on. Good idea. Maybe we should use that guy Joey was talking about. I guess it's worth a shot. He might be able to analyze it also, so why not? Okay, so what should we do about him? I don't know. It feels like this happens every other week. You know, I kind of forgot we have police escorts they can bring him back to the station. All right, I'll call that number she gave me to get a car for him. You get the evidence in a new baggie so we can take it to Spencer's. I'll put it in two bags so we can give one to the station in case Henry can't analyze the sample. Good thinking. Well, Joe, it sure looks like you're having fun investigating. Maybe a little too much fun? Don't forget the horses. We need to ride them in the moonlight. Thank you, boys, for watching him. Just make sure he's okay until we get back. Also, take this sample we collected, keep it safe, and analyze its contents at the station. You have nothing to worry about. Well, let you know when it's ready. Is it just me or... Did something feel a little weird about those guys? Yeah, they weren't wearing badges or even have a cop car. I don't know. They're probably just undercover, or maybe they are also interns. Yeah. Okay, well, let's get to his house so he can help us out. Damn, look at all this traffic. It will take forever. I have an idea. Donald, we're breaking the law. I am the law. Holy shit. Donald, slow down. We are in a school zone. Road bump. Okay, we're here. I swear you're almost as bad as Joe. Yeah, well, Joey told me about your little joy ride last time. It seems like you were going to crash on purpose. That was a long time ago. I'm better now? Well, I'm not so sure. I guess we can just ring the bell. Who the hell are you? Hello, sir. I am Deputy Trump and my partner, Big Head Barack. What type of goofy nickname is that? Listen, if you two geniuses are fans, you can leave. I have important business to attend to. We have a friend of ours who liked your news broadcast, and he thinks you might be able to help us. Well, if it's not about the TV show, I guess you two can come in. What does he mean by TV show? I see you like snow globes. Yeah, I dabble, so how can I help you get out of my house faster? We have a case where we are trying to figure out how and who is distributing this. I'm confused. Who exactly do you two think I am? We were told you helped cops when they got stuck on a case. I think I see what's happening now. Your friend watched Psych and thought it was real. I am just an actor for a crime TV show. But I never saw a real police case before. I'll take a gander. Why don't you go fetch me a couple of beers and I'll see what I can turn up. Don't you mean fetch all of us a couple of beers? Don't push it, kid. Okay, so basically you are a terrorist who somehow, someway stayed in the public eye but out of jail who got caught with your friends and got offered a deal to earn your freedom by shutting down this drug distribution network. That's the spread. Yeah, everything but me being a terrorist. And your only real lead so far is a lost girl in an ice cream container filled with narcotics. Yep. Okay, from my experience in which I have none, you obviously missed something. You need to go back to the house and find more clues. I think the rats girl is more involved than we may think. Also, I am analyzing the bag in the lab and should get a toxicology report in around 12 hours. You have a lab? More important than that we need it before midnight, or we're all going to jail. Well, if you're not sleeping beauty, I suppose I could rush the process, but the sample might get damaged in the process. That's fine. So how long would that take? I suppose six, maybe seven hours. It will be close. Yeah, this might actually work. All right, ladies, why don't you two get to work? I have a date with Destiny. So he thinks there's a clue we missed back at the house. Yeah, I feel like we left too soon. We should have investigated more. Hold on, I am getting a call from the station. Hello? Uh, what do you mean you analyzed the sample already? No, no, that's not possible. What do you mean it's not a match? Gracious, okay, well, figure something out. What is going on? They tested the sample, and the chemical composition does not match to the stuff we're trying to shut down. Okay, but Henry just said it takes 12 hours to get a reliable sample, and we sent ours into the station less than two hours ago. Something isn't adding up. Maybe they have a more advanced lab? I don't know. Something feels off. Use the main line, not the one on the notepad. Donald, she specifically said to only use this number when contacting the station. Will you for once trust my intuition? Just do it. Fine. I see. Well, what happened? They didn't get a sample. It never came. That means... Joe. Damn, how could we be so stupid? So that girl was in on this thing from the start. Yeah, who knows how far this conspiracy goes?
So where did they take Joe? Well, let's retrace our steps to the house to look for evidence while we're there. All right, good plan. Let's hurry up. It's 5.30. Okay, so they took off in that white van down that street. Okay, so after we investigate the house, we could look at the CCTV footage at the station to pick up their plate number. Good idea, Donnie. How about we split up and cover more ground? I'll take upstairs, you check out the basement. Yeah, it's really convenient you get to go upstairs while I get to go in the abysmal basement. Come on, you're not Kevin McAllister. You're not scared of a little old basement now, are you? Shut up, I'm going. All right, I need to fix my beautiful hair. Hopefully they have a bathroom up here. Ah, uh, shit, I never told the guys I am still afraid of the dark. This is not good. How far down do these stairs go? Why couldn't the fat ass take the basement, damn it? Too late now. Okay, I reached the floor, but where's the light switch? I think I found it here goes nothing. Huh, not what I was expecting. It's kind of nice down here in a weird kind of way. That table has all sorts of wigs, kind of weird. Lifted shoe pads. Why would you try to make yourself look taller for no reason? Does she think she is Ron DeSantis or something? She also has different colored contact lenses. What exactly is going on here? What did you find out, Obama? That guy's daughter seems to be some sort of spy or something. I can't piece it together with the case. Well, let's see here. Interesting, do you see that blonde wig? Yeah. It looks kind of familiar also. It seems some of the hair is falling out. Don't remind me of Joe shenanigans. Clearly, you didn't read my book, Art of the Deal. Donald, if I have to hear you yap about your book again, I'm going to lose it. One of the rules is to conceal your real intentions. That girl at the police station, I believe she is the dealer's daughter, Emily. That makes sense, but wouldn't that mean the dealer is the mastermind? What are you, Dents? Of course not, she just left, and she recorded a fake ransom letter for him to be an aide to the cause. Who would do that to their own father? Scum-sucking pigs, that's who. But I do believe there is some sort of other mastermind behind this someone who has connections has worked with the lowest of the low. There's no way this operation is being run solely by her. We just need to make that connection. And how do you plan on doing that, Donald? Justice. You're not Batman Donald. Hey, I know you can hear me. Look at me in the eyes. Stop looking in the distance. <laughs> Subscribe already, you scum-sucking pig.